In this video, I want to briefly introduce the idea of audio journalism and the exciting role that it can really play in digital journalism, especially as it emerges here in these kind of newer technologies. So uh, let's dig in. First of all, what is audio journalism? Uh, very simply, it's just content delivered through the medium of sound. So we're still delivering content in, in the same way that we would think of. We're just doing it through an audio format instead of the uh, written format. Some of the advantages of audio journalism, and there are there are many, but some of the brief advantages of audio journalism are, first of all, it's portable. People can listen to it wherever. It goes on our phones, it goes on our computers, it goes wherever we, we want it to. We can play it through our you know, Google Mini or Alexa or whatever. We can pop in our earbuds, and, and so it's portable. It's also something that's, that's active. We can do this while we're active, and, and there are some scientific uh, reasonings behind this, too, such as our... It, our brain is already motivated and activated when we're listening to these things, if we're doing it while we're exercising or doing whatever. But we can also listen to podcasts while we're doing chores. I listen to podcasts all the time while I'm doing dishes, while I'm making dinner, while I'm mowing the lawn, while I'm doing anything. Because it can go with me, it's portable, but it's also something I can do and process while I'm being active. I don't need to you know, be sitting down to, to thoroughly process and internalize this content. So... It, uh, it's an advantage because it's active, something we can do, people can do while they're active. It's also very engaging. There's something about, you know, if we go back thousands of years to before the written word, when really all of human knowledge was conveyed through stories and through the spoken word, we are, we are kind of at heart uh, a spoken word uh, being. As humans, we, we really enjoy the spoken word, and it's very engaging when you have a, an effective storyteller where you have somebody with some really uh, important and engaging content that really draws us in as listeners. And there's something really connective about hearing that voice uh, rather than just reading it on a paper that really, uh, again, pulls that audience in, pulls that can pull that audience member in and really help them focus and help them internalize that information. Uh, so audio journalism can be a very engaging medium uh, through which we can convey content. There's also the opportunity to be a little more long form. You know, when you're writing for a newspaper or magazine, even even a blog or, or writing online or whatever, you're, you're still really kind of limited in how long people are going to stick around to read that article, quite frankly. So, um, so we tend to write, you know, even longer form journalism that takes place in like magazines is sort of shorter compared to what we can get away with in audio journalism. You have podcasts and, and different types of audio journal, journalism like that that are all different lengths. Some some are short, you know, five to ten minutes or so, but then there are others that are an hour long, two hours long, you know, interview shows that are, that are really engaging and really keep you interested and gives us a chance to really uh, explore things in a little more longer form than the brief nature of a, of a news article or even a magazine article, things like that. So we have the opportunity to, to present things in a little longer form. Also, it allows us to dig even deeper into the context of a situation. You know, oftentimes in writing and things like that, we have to really stick to the, to the content and, and really what's, you know, what's important for that moment. Again, because people are only going to stick around for so long. So we've got to get the who, what, why, where, when, and how out there. And we, you know, we hit that with the lead and then we, you know, maybe, and based on kind of the inverted pyramid, we may get into some other details further on, but but maybe not, and maybe those get cut out. In audio journalism, and this format really provides the opportunity to explore the context of things a little more, and to go a little deeper, to spend a little more time talking about these things, and really focus on the depth of an issue, and uh, and and. and Audio journalism tends to focus a little more specifically on topics, so, um, so we can pick a topic and really uh, dig into it more so than with uh, a written news article or things of that nature. So we can really explore context in addition to that content, but really explore the context and what's surrounding that, what's the history of that event, what you know, we can get really into the details and into the dirt. We have the opportunity to do that in some forms of audio journalism. So those are some of the advantages of audio journalism, some things that are great and exciting about audio journalism. There are, as, as with all things in life, there's a flip side to all this, though. There are some challenges of audio journalism. There is the equipment. You know, pe people get bogged down in the equipment a lot of times, so thinking, well, I don't have all this fancy stuff. I don't have a, you know, fancy microphone, and I don't have, you know, all this audio software and that kind of stuff. And, and that can be true. There, there's some value to having higher quality equipment and things like that. But the truth is you can get started, you know, with, with your phone at 
nothing else, and then maybe your phone and a computer to build from there, and then and then you go. But but the equipment can be a challenge, you know, having the proper equipment, the proper space, and things like that. And then beyond that, even just the technology, even if you have the equipment, some of the technology can be pretty daunting. I mean, how, how do you decide what to record on and how to edit and how best to do this when you really just want to tell a story and get into the content and context of that story? But now all of a sudden you've got to be a technology expert as well. You've got to know how to properly record and then properly edit and host and all, I mean, all these different technology questions. So that can be a challenge for some people in terms of accessing and really utilizing audio journalism. Scripting is different, too, in audio journalism. We, we don't speak the same way that we write. And even though we're scripting out a lot of times these podcasts, not necessarily always, depending on the type of podcast or audio journalism you're going with, but, but oftentimes in audio journalism, true audio journalism, we will script out things, but we don't speak the same way that we write. So if we were to just take a newspaper article that we wrote even, it's something we wrote, and just read it and call that audio journalism, it would sound weird because we don't speak the same way that we write so we have to script things differently and that can take some adjustment we usually use you know shorter sentences and find words that we got kind of substitute for things that we have trouble pronouncing or you know can't do that with names and things obviously but it just takes a little effort it takes a little time to get used to scripting for audio journalism as opposed to traditional journalism so that's another challenge and then editing, you know, we already talked about technology, but one of the main things that people get hung up on in, in audio journalism is the idea of editing. And we get into this habit of thinking everything has to be perfect. And so we spend, I mean, people will spend, you know, you, you spend 45 minutes recording a podcast and then like three days editing. And it, it, it can be, and there are some people who really enjoy it. I, I actually enjoy the editing process. I find it very fulfilling, and, and uh, but that's probably just part of my OCD trying to fix things, you know. But uh, but most people find it kind of tedious and kind of uh, cumbersome, and so it's a real issue, and the, the, you know, uh, and a real challenge. And now we're, we're going to get to the tips here in just a second. But my first tip for for making editing easier is to record it properly in the first place. You know, do what you can to kind of not have to do a lot of editing, but anyway. We'll get to that in a bit. But that can be a challenge. Editing can really kind of bog people down a lot of times and, and put people off of audio journalism. Uh, so just a few tips for audio journalism. There are a lot of great resources, but just a few things to keep in mind when we're, when we're looking at audio journalism. First of all, the story still comes first. There's no purpose in, oh, there's no journalism in audio journalism without a story. You've got to have something to convey and something, even more importantly, that, that people want to hear. So, or, or that you can get people to want to hear. But the story still comes first. That, that, that's still at the heart of journalism. Whether it's hard news, whether it's feature, whether it's human interest, whatever, that story has to, to be the, have the primary place in your recording and in your journalism. So keep in mind that the story still comes first. Keep in mind, as I mentioned, that we're going to write differently. Things are different when you're, when you're saying them than when you're writing them. So um, bear in mind that... Uh, that we need to make those adjustments and be conscious of making those adjustments. Also, be aware that sound quality counts. Um, it, it's it's a matter of credibility. People will uh, think more highly of you, even whether consciously or, or subconsciously. They will think more highly of you if your audio comes through better. So uh, again, it doesn't mean you have to go out and buy you know a world class microphone or anything. But do keep in mind that we want to keep background noises to a limit. For example, and and uh, and just have the best quality that we can. Think about your recording environment. There are lots of great resources on building a, a great kind of recording environment without investing a lot of money. Such as you know, or people talking about the pillow for you. Just put pillows all around you. To really, the idea is to absorb the sound and keep it from from echoing. That's the idea. You want an environment where your sound is not going to echo uh, as much and not reverberate off the walls as much. So, sound quality counts. Do what you can. Again, doesn't mean you have to have, you know, be in a professional studio, but take every uh, effort that you can to make sure that your sound quality is as good as it can be. And then don't overcomplicate the tech, especially when you're first getting started. Yeah, again, you can get started with your smartphone. Your smartphone probably has as good a microphone as broadcasters had, you know, 15 years ago, 20 years ago in a studio. I mean, the microphones in your phone are, are adequate. They're not, they're not world-class, but again, they're adequate. So you can get started with your phone. You can even edit on your phone. There are programs to do that now. Now they're kind of cumbersome, but, but uh, you can, especially if you have a smartphone and a computer, you can record and produce quality audio journalism. Then. Okay. So don't overcomplicate the tech. And as you build, if this is something you really 
are interested in and want to pursue, then you can start upgrading slowly, upgrading your tech. You can get a better microphone. You can start investing in different uh, editing and producing uh, technologies and equipment and things like that. But but don't overcomplicate things at first. Just get rolling. Don't let that be a barrier for you. Uh, and just you know, use what you have uh, at your disposal. And most people are, at, you know, if they're interested in this at all, are going to have a smartphone and a computer. And at a baseline, that is more than enough to get you started uh, in audio journalism. If you have any questions about any of this or uh, anything else related to digital journalism, please feel free to email me. I'm always happy to answer emails. In, in the meantime, get out there and start making some great content, putting your stories out into the world using audio journalism.